Okay. Auto Haven. See, this is like a double-edged sword map. I always enjoy these maps. But this means you can kind of see Wraith coming because it's all, like, open. We should be able to get a first chase pretty quick, though. The gen spread looks really nice for the most part. Uh, you don't have anything that's really too far out of the way. Hey, what's up? And Roman. Oh, it's first game of the day. We'll be all right. We'll get a quick hit on here. You know, that surprisingly counted as a surprise hit, which I thought was really late. No worries, though. There's someone else over here. Yeah, there you are. Hey, everybody. I'm not sure what you're doing, but it was very silly. If you thought I wouldn't hear that, at least, that was very, very silly. Like, incredibly silly. Let's see why we can just pop on this. And we can go back to moving. The fact that everyone's here is great. We gotta get that range really quickly back down. Let's come back over here. I'm missing it just a little bit because I'm swinging a little too early. That's alright, though. See if they're healing. We'll take the free break. Easy peasy. Crows. Poor Dweet. Nice. And he's going to drop a pallet for me. Thank you so much, man. Let's get back to Vrooman. He was healing over here. Oh, hey. What's going on? Really unfortunate that's you. I kind of just ran to. I guess I could have went for uh, Dwight, but can't take it back now. Oh. Fair enough. That's fair. She wasn't working on a gen the whole time. Makes sense. Uh, where you at? You think they'd be healing somewhere? I don't want to chase her around a loop. They might went right back to this gen. Definitely. Just keeping everyone injured is extremely important. If they're healing, they're not doing generators, which is even better. Oh, the quick and quiet. I heard it, and then I still couldn't pull it off there. But that's alright. We get it down here. That was a nice dead hard. And we got a hook right here. Feels good. Everyone healed up, which means they wasted their time. They were not on generators. So the only generator that makes sense to kick right now, in my opinion, is this one. And we can move back over this way. Hit and run, if you're ever playing it with Wraith, you're really looking to just stall out the game until it's kind of like more and more in your favor. There it goes. We had two survivors there. Okay. Come back over to Hook real quick because that's where they're heading. And Womp. You're never really investing too much into a chase. You're kind of just, like, you know, getting an idea like that. That's great. We can end chase here. We don't need to chase that anymore because someone else is already on a generator, which means they're an easier target. So if we come here and someone's on it. Yep. Easy peasy. Nice little hop into the locker. You avoid the hit, but you still go down. I, I understand, like, maybe it was... Awkward, but I don't know what that was. I'm guessing just to avoid the hit, but then she should have came back out. Or she's waiting for, like, the head on. Nothing there. We saw crows come back. So chances are they're not in that vicinity anymore unless they're healing. We're going to move around. Double check these gens. That's where you're going to get a lot of your hits at. are just going to be on generators. I guess they could be over there healing up. Come back around here. 
She has dead hard. Uh, I'm gonna swing through it here in a second. Maybe not. I don't know why you didn't go for the pallet. You got me last time on that dead hard, but now that I'm watching for it, no. See if I can maybe snag it right here. We saw one player hopping off the generator. I don't see anyone over there. That gen's not going. We can... Oh, we have one gen here. Ooh, that was really going, I think. He might not be able to finish that now. We focus her out because she doesn't have decisive, and we can get her out of the game. We're going to chase him down now, too, because he didn't get any distance. So they get the gen done, but at what cost, you know? We'll use pop on this as soon as we're done, just so we can get rid of it. Come back here, pick her up, get a second dose of pop, and remove a player from the game. They took their time to heal up. Nice. That's a bad save right there. He ran right across the middle. I can force him to waste more time here. We kick this while we have time. And then just double check, see where he's going, see if it's a chase we want to compete with. Let him hear it. I was hoping. I could have maybe come off there. Just ring the bell, make him think we're going invisible real quick. Nope, can't allow it, man. Not today. I feel like just the ring the bell can be its own little mind game sometimes. It's really fun to play around with. That's his first hook. I guess we've just been kind of teeing off on him, but not actually committing to him. Which isn't a bad thing. This gen's kind of going, but yeah, here we are. Oh no. I knew she had dead hard, but I wanted to get the swing for it. That one should have hit, I think. I big brain myself. Uh, we don't chase this anymore. It's not a good chase for us, and we think they might be healing over here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Just like lets him go. <laughs> Definitely get a nice hit. He took such wide angles there. Those were very bad angles to take. You want to stick it to the wall if possible. We got two pallets we can break for free now too. This is just creating a massive dead zone in this area. A few mistakes we made this game are definitely on the misses. And you know, it doesn't waste a lot of time, but it adds up. So I want to kind of clean it up before we go into our second game. Because we're doing a hit and run build, and it is one of the builds I've covered before on the channel, that I plan on doing more than one game for it. I'm really debating which build is the overall best build. And it's really between this and the, uh, the pallet breaker. Really hard to say which one I like better. Or which one I think will do better. Let's start putting a lot of games on the two builds and try and debate it. Get her to do it. There we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that poor man. You had dead heart? I don't remember you having it. Catch her off guard because she's in that she's out of position. 
He can go waste his time picking him up. That's fine. It's like my brain turned off halfway through this thing. Because I've swung at like numerous dead hearts that I know are in the game. But that's alright. We got Dwight right here. He's at a pretty solid loop. No. Oh, you gotta take that instead. Okay. I think he's challenging me to a 1v1 at Cowshed. Except for there is no Cowshed. I'm sorry, man. But you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Well, I guess third weakest in this department. Let's go ahead and give a nice little hook up here. And I'm also debating whether or not I really want to keep taking Corrupt and Pop. Or if I want to swap it with like Undying Ruin. Because Corrupt Pop always feels good as a general decent feeling in game. But the one place that always feels like it lacks is more or less the uh, effective area. Sometimes, you know, the gens just go by so fast you don't really get to use Pop. So it's like trying to figure out is Ruin better there. But then Ruin can be removed. Undying does give it a second chance, but that doesn't mean you won't lose it partway through the game. I'm currently leaning more towards Pop and Corrupt because... While Corrupt doesn't, you know, it makes survivors sometimes play a lot stealthier. Wraith has really good movement speed, and he can move around and typically catch those survivors off guard. So, definitely a second game. This one was a lot of fun, though. GG's to them. They definitely tried. And we'll go ahead and we will hop straight into a second one. Okay. I'll never complain about Macmillan, so let's go for it. And Suffocation Pit is one of the nice ones. There's only like really one rough Macmillan map, and this isn't too bad, so definitely see if we can find our first survivors. Look at the gen, see which ones are in good placements, which ones are in bad. This gen right here is kind of in a bad placement because it gives two survivors a way out. And for hit and run builds, you need to be able to get that first hit really quickly. We have one survivor who looks like he went maybe inside the building here. I don't have survivors going around, it looks like. Yeah, here you go. We're going to pinch him right in the corner so he gets a hit. We have one survivor who's out there. Hey, buddy, what's up? Nope. I can't allow it. It cannot be a thing. I didn't see one bring a flashlight, but we'll play it safe just in case. Look at the wall. No basement, so I can't look to make a basement play. I definitely want to get back to my side of the map. I just knew no one started there. So let's get back over here. Double check these gens. If we can from afar. The one downside is we can't like look a mile away and see it. We know that no one's over there. So I was on this generator. And we're going to get ourselves a nice little easy hit. And we'll just leave it alone, and we're going to use pop on this. Ooh, first. First you get hit, or you drop this. Should have dropped it. Ooh, I got a little bit of time. I can do pop still. Ooh, just in time. Hell yeah. We love to see it. What we're going to do is just kind of chill here for a second. I'm just only going to count like one, like ten. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't see him. All right, we'll take the cut around. I just want to make sure they're not going to come right back and hop on the gen, and it was a gen that had some progress to it. I'm never going to sit around, though, and wait on it either. So she has self-care, or she's just healing here. She risked it, and sometimes this happens when you risk it. They both went and healed, so we have a team that likes to heal up a lot, which is really good. Uh, you can't block this in a million years. It's just not worth it. We can go ahead and waste this pallet now because he's here, standing by it. They're going to go for the save, so we're going to hit him once and move off. Yep, borrow time. That's fine. I want her to take that time and mend. We'll chase him down for a split second, but I don't want to spend a lot of time here in the middle. Oh, he actually called that. I should have came back around and swung. I'll keep that in mind. 
Don't look at the gem we're heading to real quick. There we go. Catch her off guard. There she is. Nice. We're going to pick up. Just risk it. I thought she was healing. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe she wasn't healing. That's okay, though. Decisive Strike is now out of the way. There's a gem right here. It's not the gem we really want to play around, though. Yeah, that's why. You see how he has every escape tool? You have to be kind of careful on those kind of playgrounds. Alright, we get a hit here. Feels good. Where's he running to? Is it a good area where we can maybe get some value? Take a look. No, it's a TNL. I don't really want to play around TNL, so we're going to swap off. We lose two gens, that's fine. That one was a little questionable, but alright. I'm going to eat that no matter what and run through it because we need to. Someone just hopped in a locker. No use deception. Okay. So Jeff has deception as well. One, two, three. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Nice read. Take a look around. I need to be careful on this one. We get a hit here, kinda. Alright. We're getting rid of a lot of pallets with them, and they just got done healing. If I can get rid of more pallets, I can create basically this massive dead zone over here. Do we have anything over there worth protecting? We have one gen. It's really not worth going over there in any sense. Uh, bud. <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. Now, one thing that can definitely throw off the hit and run build you have to be careful of is going to be more on the end of uh, we'll make it. That's a really strong perk for against like Sloppy Butcher or anything that can proc Sloppy Butcher. So you have to be careful of those kind of builds and you have to kind of detect whether or not survivors have it because it does change up how you have to play. We want to keep a look around, see if they're on any of these gens. They are in this gen. We can kind of push it. They're feeling it. She got some real big distance. He might be using Lucky Break. He might just ran out because they didn't see. Oh, we know there were scratch marks. Okay. It just didn't look like they were right away. All right. Make a run to the wall. We're doing a lot of damage mitigation right now where we're forcing them to heal up. Now, that was a quick, quick heal. So that was either two people with med kits or something because he just got injured. So inner strength is also a possibility. Well played. Taking the hit. Let's go ahead and chase Bill down here. See if I can get a pickup before he gets under there. No. Shit. This is risk. Alright, we're good. Let's move him on top of this hill. And then look maybe to use Pop somewhere. We definitely gotta get some real good value here soon. I think we're okay. It's just that we're... They're healing very fast, so I have to kind of find out what kind of perks they have. But they're healing quick. And that's going through Sloppy Butcher. For those of you who don't know, Blind Warrior does give me, like, Sloppy Butcher in a nutshell. We can get rid of this pallet just real quick. Uh, shouldn't have been a stun, but alright. And now we're going to go back to Hook. Because that's where the obvious choice is, yep. I love it. Where's the other survivor? There you are. Damn, the speed burst cut me off there. That's alright. He kind of ran back into me. He's going back to this pallet. I don't think they told him he had it. He might have dead hard though. Do I swing? Do I swing? I have to. You had to kind of be careful because if you swing early there, and go for a lunge, you're going to really throw yourself off because he's going to dead hard to the pallet and you're going to waste a lot of time. 
Now we're kind of catching back up, which is real nice. We just gotta be careful they don't pop a gen too quickly. But right there is where I'm suspecting that they're on a generator. If they're back there, it's a little meaner for me. Yeah, right here's good. There goes the gen. Yeah. So they had the gen over there. We'll just pop on this real quick. It has a lot of progress. Quickly head back to Hook where she's heading. See if we can maybe pop, pop her real quick. There we go. Borrow time, so we do have to be careful of that. Nice. That's her second hook, which is really important. I want to hook her right away. I don't care where the hook's at. I couldn't swing. No. He was self-caring. That's a really big mistake. So your decisive should be gone. That was really, really brave. We're going to see where they're at on the gens, but that might be a game thrower. They're not on that gen. Oh, damn. He was on that gen by himself, and he got that done so quickly. At least it felt quick. Now, do they have the other Gen 99? That's the problem. They were smart enough to not. Uh, let's see, where do you go? We have everyone injured, so that's a really bad part. I have to check this Gen now, just to make sure it's not 99. It's not 99, but it does have progress on it. So she's on it. Let's see if we can kill her real quick. Nice. Yeah, we have to make the choice there whether or not we're going to protect, like, a 3-gen. We don't have a 3-gen anymore, so it's rough. Get rid of her. This does help. It means we have to watch less survivors. So we can maybe look around. It's debating. It's going to be debating which gen they go to. We got Bill here, who is also injured. Unfortunate. Yes. Oh, that was close. Swift Hunt just coming in real clutch right there. Giving us massive value. Let's just hope they're not on the gen together, finishing off. No, it looks like there was a heal there, but it could have been a self-care as well. Or the med kit. No, not there. So the only gen that makes sense is here, and it's semi-protected because it has hat, Not hatch, but it has, uh... Ooh, hey, what's up, buddy? He doesn't have anywhere really to go anymore. He has the one loop, but that's about the extent... Do I want to waste time at loop or maybe catch off their guy? Oh, we actually did hop in it. Well played, dude. This Jeff is like 10 out of 10 gamer. How do I want to play around? Oh, we're going. Oh my gosh, he didn't. He didn't do it right. I'm able to push him away. It was a nice try, though. Yeah, it's definitely a group. You don't typically do that with just no anybody. Let me see if I can maybe catch up to this. There we go. Get our hit here. I just want to get him injured and then go back and pick up Jeff. Or maybe even catch out the uh, Bill. Here he is. Watch for Unbreakable. Nope, nothing. That's another reason we want to pick him up. We don't want the possibility of Unbreakable. I think Bill's over there on the corner, Jen. I'm going to go over there and check it here in a second. Everyone is now on Death Hook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gave it to him. Damn. Let's come here. We have to definitely pressure this. Yeah, and I saw it. That was a nice try. But I saw is it. So we get this here, and then we just need to go for. Oh, David. I have to kick this gen because of pop. And I need to get it regressing right away. I don't want them slipping past me and getting this done. 
they need to heal, and they are, so I have to be careful. That was a really fast heal again. It's got to be inner strength. That's the only thing I can think of. And maybe they're both in it. There it is. Okay, I was thinking they were both in there. Okay. He's going to go back to this little loop, though. This loop is something that wastes a lot of time. He's just going to take the vault now. I can't be here. I need to go somewhere else. Staying here is going to waste enough time where I do lose the game. It's just one of the loops it's really bad for any M1 killer to spend a lot of time on. And with Wraith, yeah, we can move fast, but we cannot stop that loop. I don't know the right way where you would run it and actually be successful, because you can just run and get a lot of distance no matter what. This is definitely Spine Shield coming into play here, I think. He found Hatch. That's good. That means we have Hatch. Let's catch up here. No, cannot allow it. I am sorry. Woo. That was a close game. That was a really fun one. These are the games I like love to play. They're really close, really on edge. A lot of fun. You know, these guys knew not to go ahead and like throw the three gen. So that was really good for us. They were fighting actively against a three gen. Really smart place. We'll get rid of this. We have one door there, and I think the other door's on the other side. Hopefully it's not over there, but oh well. And no matter what, that at least is victory for me. He could already be on the door, so we need to be moving that way. 11 hooks down, and if he's at the door, it's whatever. He might even escape right outright because it's such a far distance. He was here, so we have scratch marks. But he walked for a moment. Here you are, buddy. What's up, man? The scratch marks threw him off. We were able to get over here in time to be able to punish that. But he might be able to waste a lot of time because he has TNL walls and everything here. This is stuff we don't want to play around with. Nope. Nice. I'm glad we really avoided this, too. We didn't get into any long chases. This is just really standard Wraith play, and we played pretty well. They played really well, but we ended up winning this one. Feels good. This is why I really enjoy this build. We wasted so much time and controlled the flow of the game that it really stopped them from being able to push out the gens. Because you have to choose, you know, do you want to heal or do you want to risk being essentially being exposed against Wraith 24-7? So, that was a fun game. Really well done. Props to the Survivor team. Especially Jeff. Jeff was running loops like a boss. Yeah. That was definitely a nice group. Let me guess. Was it inner strength for a lot of them? They were healing pretty crazy. Let's see. Inner strength, yeah. So there was there's two inner strengths. That's why the heels look they're so crazy. Just double check in here. Yeah. I mean you have some this is pretty much all meta stuff. I really enjoyed they were doing stuff like this. It almost threw me off, especially the first time when Jeff did it really got me good. It was really funny. But other than that, guys, today's build, and this is what I would recommend for a Wraith build, by the way. It's going to be Corrupt Intervention, Pop Goes the Weasel, Thanatophobia, and Nurse's Calling, along with Swift Hunt, any of them, and of course Blind Warrior, the green, because that will allow you to inflict Mangled and Hemorrhage, aka Sloppy Butcher, whenever you hit them with a surprise attack until they're fully healed. So this is very important, you have to have this in the build, otherwise you just you run out of space. You cannot have Sloppy Butcher here in the build when you're running against better players. Because you need the slowdown from Thanaphobia, and Thanaphobia makes them want to heal. Which then you get value out of Nurse's Calling. If you don't, at least they're still wasting time healing. That way they're not suffering the penalty from Thanaphobia. So keep that in mind, everyone. This also is a perfect game, which feels really good. And much love. Until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.